There's a lot of enlightened guys around today, just as enlightened as Christ was or Buddha or any of them. As far as I'm concerned, everything is predestined. Everybody's scared shitless of that word, predestined. It's all predestined. Everything's, this is predestined. We didn't know all this was going to go down today. We never know what's going to happen next. We think we're in charge 10 seconds from now. None of us in this room know what we're going to be thinking or saying. So who the fuck's in charge? <laughs> Ultimately, it's not. It's not up. Uh, it's no. There's no I that, that has anything to do with it. You, this is what you're not getting. It all happens. Everything happens, and nobody's in charge of it. Ultimately, there is no individual you entity. That's an illusion. But that's part of the the noosphere, the game that consciousness is playing on the planet. Eventually, the Earth's not going to be here. And at one time, it wasn't here. Don't you get it? <laughs> and it's all going to go. Ultimately, there's no answer to it. Everything happens the way it's going to happen. Nobody's in charge. It's all going to go down. The, you know, Iraq, the war, Napoleon, serial killers, wars, all of it. Nothing's important, ultimately. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's the Buddhist concept, that it's an illusion. It's not only a, an illusion, it's insane. And one guy said it was... Um, uh, to realize when man thought he was a separate individual with a separate soul created a violent situation. And again, I'm, I'm not sitting here trying to be all wise and pontificating and say, you know, and my son, uh, let me tell you uh, about that. All of this I'm talking about, nothing matters and everything, that's part of the game. I, I'm playing the game, but I know it's a game. That's the way things happen. Again, I'm not in charge of it. Everything evolves that way and that's what is. I might sit around and regret it, but that's, that's part of the big picture, too. I might not. <laughs> I care about everything. But uh, I, I don't... So what? Ultimately, it's not, it's not important, and I don't say that in a negative sense. Ultimately, it's not important. It's all going to go. It's just a fucking dream, man, all of it. And I'm, it's not being cynical or nihilistic, or you can put all kind of labels on it, but it's uh, it's just what is, and uh, period. And ulti that ultimately, that can be defined in words. It's beyond words. Beyond it's beyond consciousness. And that's a hard sell, <laughs> but it's true. It's all a movie. It's all a game. And. Uh, there you are. Be still and know. That's, my, that's on the wall up there. Be still and know. I like an, a quote that not many people have heard of Einstein's. He says, The new religion must be a cosmic religion. It should transcend personal God and avoid dogma and theology. Covering both the natural and spiritual, it should be based on a religious sense arising from the experience of all things natural and spiritual as a meaningful whole. He said, Buddhism answers this description. If there's any religion that could cope with modern scientific needs, it would be Buddhism. So he arrived at the same place the Buddhists did and the Taoists. Taoism, the same thing. One guy phrased it, to realize your nothing is wisdom. To realize your everything is love. And Jung on my door over there, as a matter of fact, I've got a great quote from Carl Jung. He said, The self is a circle whose center is everywhere and whose circumference is nowhere. <laughs> Nihilism? <laughs> no. But there's a little Japanese poem. It's a short poem. Old frog. Old, no. Old pond, frog jumps in, splash.